Oh, hey you guys, as you can probably see, and you've probably heard this on a few videos now, I'm back down on this particular lake and decided to come back down and do some more tench fishing. We certainly up, lots of different loose surface algae clumps floating about and there's quite a bit of weed on the bottom. But yeah, it's a really roasting evening, it's gone 9pm, once again coming down to fish during the late evening into the very early hours of the morning. It looks nice. As I say, it's been a, quite a blazingly hot day. It's not just hot, it's hellishly humid. It makes you wonder why I've got a fleece on, but I've got a fleece on, as I tell you what, the mosquitoes around this particular lake, on a whole, they don't take any prisoners. Uh, anyway, same setup as last time, using my Shimano XA travel concept telescopic rod, and just fishing a low resistance running rig setup with a nice Palatrax stones weight, and just fishing red worms also got boilies. I've got some PVA mesh bags of crushed boilies which I fish in tandem with the red worms or with the boilies themselves. I'm just fishing that, putting in a few balls of grilled hemp, ground bait that's been soaked and mixed with molasses and a little bit of corn. Looks rather tasty doesn't it? All those different clumps of weed and algae. Did rake the swim behind me a couple of days ago so I know the bottom's fairly clean. Just want to make sure that I don't, when I'm casting, hit a clump of algae on the surface. That's a lovely, peaceful evening. So, yeah, as I say, bait-wise, got red worms with me, got corn, got boilies, I've got the um, Palatrax jungle uh, pop-ups, I've got some Esther fruit boilies, and last but not least, I've got red worms, which are certainly last but not least, as that'll be the main bait that I'll be using. Nice and lively, all freshly taken out of the family wormery. And hopefully it will account for a few tench this evening. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get set up and I'll catch you guys on the flip side once I'm getting the rod out and putting a little bit of ground bait round. Alright, here we go. That's as simple as you get. Low resistance, quick change rumbling with a nice Palatrax The Stones, one ounce stone, little buffer bead, little anti-tangle tubing. Preston Innovations Exceed, hook link material, as I say that's just over seven pounds breaking through. Size 12 Palatrax The Hook, a couple of little red worms and a nice little mesh bag with some crushed boilies just to give something so that it tracks the fish and it also allows this to not bed in the weed so much. Anyway, let's get it out there shall we, let's not diver. Wow, what a stunning evening, eh? Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. But in this case, it's red sky at night. I'm bitten all over my... by. <laughs> it's more like red, should I say. Red, red back at night. Bitten all over my back by mosquitoes at the moment. It's like a continued dive bombing. Or should I say a blitzkrieg of bombastic mosquito bites. But yeah, gorgeous evening. Uh, Put a little bit of corn round, I think, and a couple of balls of the hemp and molasses ground bait, and then settle down on the landing mat and see what develops. There's just where well, I've just casted now. I've just gone literally round about. There we go. There, look at that. Look at that. That's a tench. That's what I was just going to say. I've just gone literally, as you would have seen, gone about a foot and a half to the right of that. Uh, certainly down there and about, paupers rolling. What a brilliant sight. Anyway, as I say, I'm going to tidy up my tackle and um, sit on the landing mat and see what develops. Catch you guys in a bit.
there we go a lovely stoutly proportioned feisty mouth wonderful paintbrush paddle to it just taking on a couple of red worms with a little mesh bag of crushed boilies as I say just to help soften the landing and give a little bit of attraction in between the weed beds but yeah well, there we go there's that little looks like a broken vein or a broken bone in the vein or a little blister type mark quite recognize this fish I think if I call it again it's also got a couple of dark spots on its top of its head but yeah wonderful paddle did try to put me in the marginal weed as well and a wonderful scrap let's get it slipped back Oh, that was a bit of a close one. Went under the tree, didn't it? Very, very nice. Nicely proportioned teddy bear eyed tinker. A little bit larger than the last, only a couple of ounces in it. Very, very nice, too. Got a nice and recognisable fork in the towel, should I say, as well. But yeah, very, very nice, very welcome. Thoroughly enjoyable. I'll tell you what, before I had this fish, I had another bite, very slow bite. And then I saw the rod tip, which I've got sunk, also carry on tapping slightly. Sat on my hands, didn't strike it, and the fish left it, and I thought to myself, maybe it was eels. Wound in, and yeah, sure enough, the worms have been crushed and taken so far down the um, hair rig, and then left in the weed. Didn't fancy it was a tench, but on recasting, we've been no more than 10 minutes, if that, this one tore off. Nearly took me under the marginal trees there. I had to apply some side pressure to get it to come out of where the, where the sunken branches, which was lucky. I was envisaging me having to hop in with my shoes on. So yeah, very nice too. Beautiful. Very, very, very enjoyable indeed.
Lovely. I was going to say lovely, Charlie. Lovely, tensely. Well, steam's rising off the lake and off this tench. Largest of the night, thus far anyway. Quite a recognisable towel. As you can see, it's protruding a little bit there. Lovely condition. Real good scrap. Beautiful condition. Very, very nice. As I say, cracking scrap. Lovely build to it. Very, very welcome indeed. Yes. Let's keep them coming, hopefully. Shame to have lost that one that I lost earlier. But that's the way it goes. It took me into some weed beds and slipped the hook. Win some, you lose some. Anyway, I think this fish would like to be slipped back. So let's get it back into the water. Brilliant. Got a lovely mist rising. Short sign that we've got some hot weather due today. And for the next two or three days, supposedly up to 37 or 38 degrees. Probably will maybe be a little bit under that perhaps, I don't know. But it's lovely. You could call it a tench fisher's dawn. Got the bats swirling about, this tench been rolling. Just had that other tench just before it got light. Or should I say just before it got fully, you know, was dawn breaking and swans over the other bank with a group of cygnets. Yeah, very nice morning. The old ki kingfisher went by about 10 minutes ago. There was a heron right in the corner of the lake, flew in from the back and landed. And hear it squawking about, real raucous call. That's a lovely morning. Hopeful of one or two more tench, perhaps if I'm not being greedy, before I've got to be eventually heading off. But we'll see. It's been a pleasant trip regardless. Three fish plus one loss. Can't really complain. But let's just sit and take in this beautiful setting and beautiful atmospheric summer morning. How was a scrap? Oh. I'll take a look at that. <laughs> that was a fair scrap, I think you'll agree. Real good tussle. 
another really nice looking Mal Tinker and just to show you those typical Mal pelvics look at those scoop shaped paddles really really phew, it's all about power away along with its tail but yeah really 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 nice lovely condition very powerful tail very powerful scrap this is a very nice mail very nice mail cracking nick as well very very stoutly built this one's absolutely gorgeous in my opinion really misty morning as well lovely teddy bear eyes happy days very nice anyway let's get it slipped back shall we brilliant That was the quickest tench point I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, the quickest one. Mm. Just can't for help. Mm. Yeah. Can't do that with it. <laughs> Probably haven't done that. Mm. So I've never done it here. Yeah, you've never done it here. It's still nice, yeah. Mm. Well, it's still coffee. It's still still whatever, but it's very... Mm. Wow, how quick. that for a fast bite. I clipped the swinger on and I thought to myself the line's tightened up a bit too quick there. Very nice. <laughs> so a very quick, quick tinker. Well, how about that for a streamlined bomber? Quickest bite, tench bite I think I've ever had. Um, cast, put the rod down as you would have seen. <laughs> Fantastic, he just screamed off. I mean, literally took off. Literally only just I don't know, 20 30 seconds after the um, PVA mesh bag and red worms hit the um, bottom. Brilliant. This is going to be the last fish, I think. Gonna pack up, head for home. It's been enjoyable. Five fish plus one lost. Can't complain. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And this is a gorgeous red eyed teddy bear. I believe this one is the smallest of the trip, but equally as welcome as the others. Brilliant. Let's get you slip back, let's head off home. Well, I'm fully slimed, you can tell when a tench angler's had a good trip. This has thoroughly been one. Um, as I say, I'm gonna call it quits now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been great to be able to bring it to you chaps and you ladies. Um, always nice to be able to share the videos across the YouTube platform with all of you and it's nice to uh, all of you for the majority seem to really enjoy the vlogs i do hope you're not finding these tench videos too repetitive but as i said in my previous videos i'm really enjoying my tinker tinker taylor soldier spy fishing at the moment it's been thoroughly enjoyable brilliant today i should say brilliant during the night and then early morning absolutely superb didn't get down 
till gone nine, it was around about 9.30, 9.30 to quarter to ten before I got set up and cast out. Um, and uh, yeah, first fish was around about uh, 10.20 and then on from there I had others and obviously lost one to the weed beds. As happens, you know, it's the way it goes with fishing. But yeah, it's been great. Absolutely a joy to behold and a wonderfully misty atmospheric morning with the swans drifting about in and out and they actually they went across an area where there was a few tench or it could have been a carp and um, they certainly spooked <laughs> they knew there was a fish under them there was um, the adult swans trying to protect the cygnets and they're all <laughs> hissing at the um, tench or carp but yeah it's been very enjoyable and i hope you enjoyed my impression of a swan there <laughs> anyway guys and um ladies gents and ladies should I say I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have do take time to consider clicking the thumbs up button that would be very much appreciated also share it on possibly share the videos on your group pages on your Facebook pages on social media in general and you know you'd be as I've said before helping me to gain a larger audience and letting more people know of my channel which would be really obviously appreciated as well um, very humble about my channel very humble about my angling I'm enthusiastic, I enjoy my fishing, and um, as you can see in the videos, heart and soul really, it's my bread and butter, and it keeps me on an even keel. If you're not subscribed though, do consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon, you'll be kept updated with all my future uploads, plus a good back catalogue of videos to make your way through and worm your way through. Anyway, I'm going to pack up the few bits and pieces that I've got left out, in a stroll leisurely back to the car on a bed of air because it's been such an enjoyable trip until next time wherever you're fishing hope you're enjoying your fishing and having a good time and a few fish as well till the next video take care see you soon